During the day, Kittredge Field is a playground for athletes. But early on the morning of September 5th, it became a scene from every girl's nightmare. A CU student was walking home from a party by herself when a man tackled her from behind and put his hand over her mouth. She bit his finger and at that point he ran away. According to the Department of Justice, one in five women will be a victim of sexual assault during her college career, but most of them won't be attacked by a stranger. Instead, their attacker is someone they know. Somebody that you've met, somebody that you're talking to, somebody that you know, or maybe a friend, but also somebody that you might have met tonight, that that is the vast majority, by far, the 98% of cases that we see. Two days after the attack at Kitt Field, another assault was reported this time at the Mary Rippon Theater. Molly Bosley with the CU Police Department says this attack was more typical of sexual assault at CU. Usually when we see instances of sexual assault, reported sexual assault, or an assault in general on campus, it is between two parties that are known to each other. The attacks this early in the semester have caused alarm among the female students at CU. It's not a comforting feeling. But these girls say they haven't taken any extra precautions as a direct result of the attacks. They just use common sense when they go out. According to Mary Friedrichs with the Office of Victims Assistance, alcohol is a big factor in sexual assault between acquaintances. Um, they use alcohol most frequently as their weapon of choice. But a common myth is that sexual assault is just a misunderstanding between two people who've had too much to drink. According to Friedrichs, attackers usually plan the event ahead of time, and it may not be their first assault. Women are urged to always be aware of their surroundings and to always walk with a buddy. But in a world where sexual assault doesn't always involve a stranger in a dark alley, that may not be enough. Another tip from the CUPD is to know the people you're with. CU students say they are already familiar with advice like this. I would never walk home at night alone. Yeah, just know your surroundings and people you're with. I mean, yeah, just be smart about things. <laughs> Simple precautions like these could make a world of difference when it comes to enjoying the college lifestyle. Police and victims assistants agree. The most important thing is to stay in control. Jenna Jordan, News Team Boulder.